What's up, guys? We're going to start off with a little bit of um, a wrap just to explain what we're about to do. I feel like it's going to get us really in the game, really in the mindset for these parallel slopes that we're about to talk about, a little bit of perpendicular slopes. Um, we got to figure out what the relationship is. Uh, use this wrap. Love it. Listen to it. Memorize it. Play it. And you'll probably get an A because you're just going to be so good. Anyway, here we go. Parallel lines. Legit. Perpendicular. Let's get it. Parallel slopes are the same. I'm flexing on you. My big brain. Perpendicular. Make it X. The difference in their slopes. That's next. Get the whip and flip. That's a sign. Too legit to quit. That's my rhyme. Anyway, that's it. That's the freshest. That's the bestest. Okay, so what I said was that if you have parallel lines, they have the same slope. So keep that in mind. Um, this is what they would look like. And then if you just think about the rise over run, change in X, change in Y, those are going to be the same when you have parallel lines. If you have perpendicular lines, that's when you get the whip and flip and then change the sign. That's my rhyme. Be a dime. It's not a crime, you know. Just keep, keep going. Freestyle. Freestyle every day. All day, every day. Okay, so here comes my perpendicular lines. Remember, they look like an X. They're coming um, at exactly 90 degree angle here. So if I were to look at the slopes, my change in X here, my change in Y, um, when they come this way, um, now instead of going up, we're going down. And your slopes, instead of being, for instance, a slope of two thirds, your new one would be three over two, make it negative. So um, let's just take a look at these examples and then we'll get to it. Um, number eight says write an equation for a line parallel to y equals one half x plus 17, passing through eight negative four. We need a line that's parallel to y equals one half x plus 17. Now, if they're parallel, that means same slope. So that means our line is going to have a slope that's the exact same. It's going to be one half. Number eight says that our line also has to pass through eight, negative four. So if my point is eight, negative four, that means my x value is eight, my y value is negative four. I'm gonna plug those in for my x and y to find my y-intercept. So that means when I put those in, let's go purple. Keep it fresh, keep it funky, like grapes. Negative four equals half of eight plus my y-intercept. Half of eight is four. Subtract the four to the other side to solve for b. My y-intercept is negative eight. That's my dog food. Not that I eat, it's for my dog, will it? If you're lucky, you'll see her someday. Not everybody has the same look. Anyway, so number eight in your notes, it asks for the line parallel to that guy going through this point. So my answer, troll law, has a y-intercept of negative eight, has a slope of one half. So the answer for number eight is y equals one half x minus eight. Huzzah, yay. Number nine asks you for an equation for a line passing through zero, five, parallel to y equals 
2.3x plus 7.1. Be on the lookout for the point that's given being disguised because on number nine, that point is your y-intercept. Check it out, the point zero five, think about it on a graph. It didn't go left or right at all, x value zero, just went up five. Dang, y-intercept given to you. So on number nine, uh, it was supposed to be parallel to y equals 2.3x plus 7.1. So that means when I have my line, my slope is the same, big brain, uh, but my intercept is 5, and that means when I finish this out, I get y equals 2.3x plus 5. Perfect. Uh, right after that on your notes, it has a graph of some perpendicular lines there for you. Check out the first one, find the slopes of those two lines, and then let's find the slopes on the second graph. I'll put that in my next video, and we'll talk about the <laughs> getting in the whip and flipping, whip and flip, change the sign. We'll get there in one second. Um, so go on to the next video. You're welcome. I hope you had a great time. Watch this six million times if you need to, and then get on office hours because I'm here for you.